What are macroelectronics? We see macroelectronics everywhere in our daily lives. Macroelectronics are large-scale electronic devices. For example, TV screens that we watch every day and cell phones that we always carry around. Even MP3s today are related to macroelectronics such as iPod screens. Wouldn't it be nice if we could roll, bend, or stretch these screens? Challenge. Materials used to make electronic devices today are easy to fracture or crack. The reality is such research on flexible macroelectronics can impact our everyday lives. Nokia has recently begun developing a prototype model of the future cellular phone that can be used in today's world and not just in Futurama. Such a device would be flexible. As you can see, Nokia's 88 phone can do your morning abdominal workout for you as it wakes you up. A phone like this fits anyone's life. Very casual, very adaptable. Whoa! She just folded her phone into her pocket, like a paperclip. That's amazing! Just like flexible macroelectronics. Wait! She's just folded it into her wristwatch, like Dick Tracy's comics for us old timers. A phone, wristwatch, and nifty gadget, all in one. So long small LED screens, long live the large screen. In an era of HD TV and widescreen TV, wouldn't it be nice to have one for your phone for maps, pics, and text messages? Look at the ease of its use. Whether buying a cup of coffee, a book, a pair of shoes, no credit card, no cash, no problem. With flexible macroelectronics, it's as simple as scan and go. Just remember, it's not cash, kids. Watch your credit. Just look, so thin, so flexible, and very cool, and very smooth. Flexible macroelectronics is the future, innovated through practical engineering, making people's lives easier and allowing them to enjoy life on technology's cutting edge. Solutions. The solution to make flexible macroelectronics is to give macroelectronics a new architecture design. Here's a possible solution. A straight paper strip is not stretchable, but the same paper strip patterned into a snake-like strip and you have a stretchable strip. Here's another example. A transparency is not stretchable, but by introducing a lot of Y-shaped cuts, the transparency becomes stretchable. This principle is independent of size scales, which means you can scale down to nanometer size. If the Y cut is very small, for instance in nanoscales, which is smaller than the thickness of a person's hair, then with a lot of cuts, the flexible plate with Y-shaped cuts will look just like a regular plate to our eyes. We also use computer A design program. For example, a program can be used for simulating what would happen when the basket is dropped. Such a computer program can be used to simulate what will happen when a flexible pattern plate is pulled. Then we can optimize the pattern design. So as you're walking down the street in the near future, don't be surprised when the future becomes green. Soon with the development and engineering of flexible macroelectronics, the environment will become greener and the air around us healthier. Pollutants will be significantly reduced because we can reduce the amount of paper used for books, essays, term projects, and even newspapers. The future doesn't require us to predict what will happen next. Still, the future is here. Just imagine a clutter-free world with flexible LED news screens, which you can fold under your arm when you're not reading it. Need to make a call to a loved one? Piece of cake. Just roll it out from your pocket. Ouch. Out of batteries? Without a hitch, you can unfold the solar panel from your flexible cellular device, and voila you have the energy you need.